y'all, here's a project where the old uh, seawall tieback system failed. They used type 304 stainless steel, which uh, corroded in two, and the uh, vinyl wall actually started falling over. We came back in, installed some new uh, dead men pilings 12 foot behind the wall, vibrated those down with the Viber hammer. There are approximately seven, eight foot long pilings with the drag plate, two foot drag plate on front of it. And we used a type 316 5.8 stainless steel to resecure the wall. Side. The wall had actually bowed out too much. We couldn't straighten that one back up. So we removed the vinyl sheet pilings. We're going to reinstall those straight, tie them back with the uh, tie back system to new dead men pilings. This should give them a nice, good wall that should give them many years of protection against the shoreline. Here we are installing the temporary post to support our whaler system. Once the vinyl sheets are installed, we bolt the vinyl sheets to the whaler, then the temporary post can be removed. Got an old wooden seawall that was installed in front of this vinyl wall. So now we're trying to get those old boards out of the way so we can put the vinyl sheets back in place. particular project we had no yard access so this kind of shows the versatility that we have as far as being able to complete a job we're going to be bringing in the backfill sand in via barge and about six loads of riprap to install at the face of this wall to prevent the uh, wave actions from digging it out as soon as we get that done I'll get some more video shot and put up on YouTube here but please subscribe so you can keep up to date thanks